Good morning or good afternoon, everyone. This is just a quick reminder on how to use the site size method to begin your portrait. Now, the first thing that I want you to notice is that I did trace the outline of the paper on my canvas. Now you can do this on a wall or wherever it is that you're going to, to paint. And then you start using the sides of that uh, paper to create your measurements. Keep your, your photo reference next to your painting as much as you possibly can. That'll really let you use the site size method more accurately. And then start taking your measurements. Take as many measurements as you feel like you need to. If you're, if you're doing a portrait for a commission, I really recommend taking many, 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 many measurements, even more than you feel like you need to. But if you're just painting for your own pleasure, uh, then you can just take as many measurements as you think you need. Um, this is just the beginning, so this, this initial drawing is not something that is set in stone by any means. You just want to block it in, my professor used to say. So once you got it blocked in, understand that this could change. Once you start adding the colors for the skin, once you start adding the colors for the hair, what you want to do is you want to get some similarity, some likeness at this stage. I think I achieved that, um, and I would feel comfortable moving forward with this initial drawing. Though it's not identical to uh, the model, I I know that during the painting phase where I start adding the skin, I could push the cheek, I could create those contours, I could bring that that edge of the face closer to the eye if it's necessary, and I could do all those things at a later stage. The actual completion time for this quick uh, blocking in is about 40 minutes. I think it could have been a little bit faster, but there were a few distractions during the, the demonstration, like the phone rang and things like that. When it comes to doing the hair, you really do have a lot more freedom. Um, and you can see with the hair, I'm pushing or changing the contour lines around the face. Um, I needed to erase. Usually if you have the same gray that you use to prime the canvas, you can, but I just created this lighter gray to erase some of the old lines. I also just took advantage and used it to quickly indicate where some highlights could go. Now following in the style of an artist named John Singer Sargent, I, I like that style where there's a lot of detail on the face and there isn't much detail um, in the hair or the neck. Uh, John Singer Sargent, amongst others, he would put a lot of details on the face and hands. And I really do personally enjoy the way that that turns out. So you can see for the, for the collar, uh, I didn't make too many measurements. So it is a little bit off and neck is a little bit longer than it should be, but I like that kind of creative expression in there. And of course, that's something that could be altered later. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day. Hope it helps.